Little Gems Creations 1. Today we're working on a shelf elf outfit or a Barbie outfit. Um, you're going to need some pink yarn. This is four ply worsted weight and some white yarn. Now, of course, you can do this with any colors you prefer. I'm using a 4.5 millimeter hook. And this happens to be one of those ones that lights up. I'm not using it because of the light up feature. I'm just using it as a 4.5 that I grabbed. You're going to need a pair of scissors and a darning needle. Okay, let's get started. We're going to start with our pink. We are going to do a chain of eight. So to do my chain, I take my yarn, I cross it with my working yarn being at the back. Then I'm going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Now we're doing single crochets. So I'm going into the second chain from the hook and we're going to do single crochets all the way to the end. So you should have seven single crochets when you're done. Okay. So that counts as one row. Then this is a really nice pink. It's a really soft pink. Uh, I don't know what kind it is because of course I don't have a label. I use a ball of yarn and I throw out the label right away. Okay, so we went to the end. We've got seven stitches. We're going to chain up one. Now we are working in the back loops only, okay? So we're not going through both like this. We are going just into the back part of the loop and we're doing seven across. We are going to do 14 rows like this only in the back loops and the reason we're only working in the loops is back loops is because we want a ridge. This the part we're working on of the outfit is the skirt and this makes it look like it's like a pleated skirt. Okay, so see how we have that ridge there? Okay, 14 rows. Do that and come back. Okay, so I did my 14 rows. Now, you are going to chain one. And now we're going to work on the edge of the rows, okay? So we have 14 rows. We want to pick up. 14 half double crochets. So I chained up two. For a half double crochet, you go around your hook. I'm going into the row and then I go through all the loops. Around your hook, into the row, pull through, go through all three loops. And we're doing this for 14 stitches. So I've got three. The chain two does not count as a stitch. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, and 14. Now, I'm going to that first stitch we did, or sorry, to the chain two, and I'm going to slip stitch into the chain two to connect my work into the round, okay? I'm gonna chain up two. So see how the work is attached now? Gonna chain up two. Now 
we are going to do half double crochets again. We're putting two into each stitch, okay, to give it a flare. So we should end up with 28 stitches. Two in one stitch, three and four in the next stitch, five and six in the next stitch, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we're gonna do this until we have 28, and then we're gonna slip stitch into the chain um, two at the beginning. So do your 28 and slip stitch and meet me back. Okay, so I did it and I did a slip stitch to attach. So now we're going to chain up three. One, two, three. And we're just going to put a single double crochet in every stitch around. And this is going to give our little shelf elf skirt the length. Now, Making this for shelf elf or for, oops, making it for a Barbie doll, you can add length to the skirt. If you decide you want the skirt just a smidge shorter, you can, instead of doing double crochet here, you can do another row of um, half double crochet, whatever works for you. Um, I had uh, never heard of shelf elves, and then a customer asked me if there was any way I could make an outfit for one, and I said, well, what are the dimensions? And they said, well, pretty close to a Barbie doll with a bit wider waist. And I thought, well, what does a bit mean? Is that a lot larger waist, or no? So that's when I came up with this part because this is quite stretchy. And so if it needs to be stretched more to go around the shelf elf, then it's able to. But if it doesn't have to, to stretch as much, um, it can work for a Barbie. So, um, or 11 and a half inch um, fashion dolls. So, the main color for this set we're doing is, of course, the pink. And the next thing we're going to do is going to be the white trim. So, I'm going to show you how we do that. So, here we go. We're back around. Okay, so do your final double crochet slip stitch. Oops, goodness gracious. Okay. Now we're going to cut our yarn. If you want it longer, you can do more rounds. If you want it to flare more, you can do another row of flare. But this is what we've got so far. Okay, so now I'm going to take my white, I'm going to go to the back, I am going to anchor my white, pull through and do one chain, okay, now I'm skipping two and I'm doing five double crochet in one stitch. One, two, three, four, five. I'm skipping two and I'm putting a slip stitch. Now I'm skipping two and I'm doing five double crochets in to one stitch, two, 
three, four, five, skip two, do a slip stitch. So see this is what we're getting, a nice little white trim. Skip two, five double crochets. Whoops. One. Oops. Two. Now this is great to do with some scrap yarn. Um, my scrap yarn for white was too small, so I had to use my ginormous ball of white. Okay, skip two, one, two, slip stitch in that third, skip two, do five, double crochet, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, skip two, anchor. Okay, so we're not gonna be able to skip two, so we're only gonna skip one this time. Okay, and then five double crochet. And sometimes with these patterns, we're just gonna make it work, right? Two, three, four, five and then we're doing slip stitch to where we did that chain one to oh, to start our our attach of the um, white we're gonna pull that through we're gonna grab our darning needle. I don't think I said darning needle when I was telling the stuff you're gonna need. Of course, you're gonna need a darning needle. Oh, and I use snaps. Okay, so I use snaps. So you can get these, oh gosh, I got these at a hardware store ages ago. But they've got all different sizes of snaps and I just put them at the top. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna hide our threads and we're gonna put on a snap. If you wanna put on a button, you can do a button. I find that um, the little kids who use these snaps usually work easier for them. Or if you have one of those tools that put snaps, snaps on, um, I don't know what they're called, it's escaping me. I worked uh, the night shift last night and I haven't had a lot of sleep. We've had like four hours, so. <laughs> what is that thing called that you put snaps on with? Ah, if you can think of the name, put it in the comments below. So we're just going to hide our threads and the skirt portion of our shelf elf outfit is pretty much done out on the snap. So the snap, I don't put on with yarn, I put on with thread. So find a thread that matches your, your main color yarn as best as you can. And uh, yeah, I think you can get snaps at Walmart or definitely a Fabricland or something, Michaels. They'll have snaps. I'm sure you can go on eBay and buy snaps. I actually buy a lot of things. One of the videos I'm gonna do is I ordered some bamboo knitting needles and I'm so excited for when they come. So I'm gonna share with you guys my bamboo knitting needles. And then I might have to do a knitting tutorial so I can show them in action. I love bamboo knitting needles. Well, I just love anything to do with yarn crafts. So, Okay, so even at the top here, I'm hiding this thread and I'm doing all this hiding on the wrong side, of course. And I'm just doing back stitching like I always do. If you watch any of my other tutorials, you'll see that I always go a little bit back in my stitches, but I don't do knots. 
and I don't seem to have my yarn peek out because I have done the back stitching. Okay, so now we turn it inside in and that is the skirt for our shelf elf outfit. I'm just gonna put on the snap and then I'll be right, well, yeah, I'm gonna get stuff to put on my snap and then I'll show you how I sew it on. Okay, just one sec. Okay, so I'm back. I've got my same color thread, or pretty darn close. I've got some needles. So I'm gonna go with a smaller needle and some thread. Okay. Okay, now here's how I thread my needle. I do it a little bit differently. I don't like a lot of knots. I find knots messy, but that's just a me thing. So I put my two ends together. Hold on, sorry. All right, so I put my two ends together And I get the hole of my needle and I put the two ends through the hole of the needle. So my loop is at the other end. Do you see what I've done there? Okay, so my snap from my snap card. Okay, so I'm gonna put I'm sorry, this is the only way I know how to explain snaps. I'm gonna put the boy part <laughs> on the left. And what I do is I go through the hole with my needle and I go back through the material. And then what I do is I catch my loop. See, and then you don't have any knots, but your, your thread won't pull through. And then I just do, whoops, I do a few stitches in each and I'm just going, I'm not going to the next hole, I'm going in the same hole, in the hole to the material, in the hole, oh, dang it, I've caught my scissors and I unthreaded my needle. You think it'll be as easy as it was last time? Hmm. Okay. There we go. Look at that, I did it twice. Okay, so then I go through. I'm gonna go along the material edge up to the next button the next hole and I'm just gonna do like three times in that hole and I'm gonna do that for each one okay so there we go now I'm gonna go to the next hole And if you look on this side, see, there's hardly, you can hardly see anything because my thread is practically the same color as my yarn. And like I said, because little kids are using these, that's why I use snaps. Sometimes little, little kids have a hard time with the buttons. I used to run a daycare years ago, so. I used to watch the struggles, and the struggles for little kids is real. They can't always do buttons. Okay, so what you do to this one, now you're going to put the girl part on the other side. 
Oh, come on. Oh, I'll show you how I knot this before I sign off and let you put the girl part on the other side. Or the other side of the button, if anyone's watching this with their kids. Okay, so to make my knot, I catch, I did a stitch, but before I pulled it tight, I got a loop. I go into, oh, whoopsies, I go into the loop once. I go into the loop twice. And then holding my material, I pull tight. Now, you never snip where you knot. So let's just give it a couple of stitches. Okay. Now we'll give it a snip. Okay. And then you're going to put your other side of your snap on this side. And make sure you have it facing the right way. I've done that before where I did it wrong. And then let's meet back. And we'll go to the next step of our outfit. Okay. So I've got the snap on the little skirt. See? And there we go. And it's quite stretchy so it can go around the shelf loaf. Or the Barbie. Whichever you prefer. So... Next, we're making the hat. So we're going back to our pink. We're done with our snaps. One little snap for this whole outfit. So I'm crossing my yarn. I'm chaining one, two. I am going to do single crochets in that first chain and I'm catching my tail. You see how I caught my tail and I put it over my hook? Okay, we're going to do six single crochets in this circle. Two, three, four, five. Six. Then we're going to slip stitch into that first stitch. Okay, we're going to chain one. Now we're going to put two, two single crochets in each stitch around to a total of 12. So one, two in one stitch. Three, four in the next stitch, five, six in the next stitch, seven, eight in the next stitch, nine and ten, eleven. And 12. Slip stitch into that neck, that first stitch. Chain up one. Now, if you did your catch your, your tail right, when you pull, this little um, space here will go away. So let's give it a tug and see, it went away. I can't see anything there. But if it didn't, you could use this tail to sew up that hole, okay? Just so you know, you're safe either way. Okay, so now we are gonna do an increase to 18. So we're gonna do two in the first stitch. One, two. Sorry, there's some fluff on my yarn. Okay, so one, two. One in the next stitch to give us three. Then we're doing two in the next stitch, four, five, and one in the next stitch. So six. So as you can see, we're doing multiples of three. So seven and eight go in one stitch. Nine goes on its own. Ten, eleven. 
11 go in one stitch, 12 goes on its own, 13, 14 goes in one stitch, 15 on its own, 16, 17 in one stitch, 18 on its own. Now we're not doing a slip stitch. We've got enough stitches. This is as wide as we're going to make it. So now we're just going to single crochet around. Okay. So we're just going to keep going single crochet until we have, uh, we'll see how there's a ridge here? One, two, three. We want to have um, six ridges, okay? So do that. So a total of six, no matter which side you count, and meet me back. Okay, so I've got six rounds on either side that I count. So look here. If I count here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I count over here, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So now I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna do a slip stitch into the next stitch. And then I'm gonna put my tail through my loop and pull tight, okay? Now this has a lot of, pretty much a lot of gifts, so we're good. Now we're gonna attach our white. Okay, so once again, I'm just going to bring our white up with a chain one. We are going to skip two, and then we're going to do five double crochets in one stitch, just like we did for the skirt, because they're a match set, right? Three, this is all in the same stitch. Four, five, skip two, slip stitch, and then we're gonna do it again. Skip two, five double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, skip two, slip stitch, skip two, five, whoa, 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 there we go. One, two, three, four, five, and then slip stitch where you did that first chain one. Okay, we're gonna snip. Put our tail through our loop, pull tight, and there is our little hat to go with our skirt. So now, just like always, we're going to hide our threads. So we're going to quickly do that. And make sure that you're hiding your color that, so if you have a white thread, you gotta hide, hide it within the white, don't hide it within the pink, unless there's no other option. Okay. And if your hole didn't close up nice and snug, this would be a good time to just sew it shut. Um, if you wanted to, if your kids are not so little that they would um, pull off 
a glued on pom-pom, you could glue on a pom-pom at the top of this hat. Um, or even do a French knot. I've done French knots before. I've never done a tutorial on specifically the French knot, but I've done it in some of my um, patterns for uh, like my snowman pattern that I just did fairly recently. And I think I did it in my coffee, little coffee cup keychain tutorial I did. So yeah. So then, that's the hat part of the outfit. And then, and you know, I've had people order this in all kinds of colors. I've had them order pink and gray and red and black and red and white and green and white. And I mean, you can just use any colors you want. And like I said, it also works on Barbie, so you can do that. Okay, so there's the little hat. Isn't that cute? So there's our hat and our skirt. Now we're gonna make the scarf. So just one sec and I'll be back to show you how to do that scarf. And if you haven't had a chance yet, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Um, and if you want notifications of when I do new videos, hit the little bell. Okay, so I'm gonna get my stuff for the scarf. Okay, so the next part is the scarf. So once again, our pink yarn, yarn, yarn. <laughs> That's too funny, pink yarn. Okay, so we are going to chain 32, or sorry, 62. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 18, 40, 41, Now, Going into the third chain from hook, you are doing half double crochets to a total of 60 half double crochets. You are doing this for two rows. So do that, come back. Okay, so I did my two rows of half double crochets. I'm at my last one, I'm gonna snip my yarn. I'm gonna pull my tail through my loop and pull tight. Okay, so now we are going to want to hide these ends. Okay. It's always about hiding ends, isn't it? And I try and make sure that I hide them on the same um, side. It's easy to lose track when you are, uh, what am I trying to say? It's easy to lose track when you're flipping this around. Okay, so there we go. Threads hidden. 
So now we are going to make tassels for our scarf. And the scarf is what we just built. So I have this piece of cardboard. Now you're probably wondering what, ooh, whoopsies. What size my piece of cardboard is? It is three inches by three inches roughly and kind of haggard looking. So when I make tassels, I want all my tassels to be relatively the same size. So I'm gonna put three tassels on each side end, okay? And I wanna have two things of yarn for each tassel. So that means I need two, four, six on this end and six on the other, so I need 12 wraps. So here's what I do. I put the end of my yarn right to the edge of my cardboard and this counts as one wrap, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now I'm holding that at the back. I'm going to trim. And then I'm going to go inside and trim this. Okay? So now all of my tassels are approximately the same size because I used my cardboard. So now I'm going to take my crochet hook. I'm going to go into the corner, grab two tassels or two yarns. I'm going to put them over my hook, pull through, and then I'm going to grab those ends and I'm going to pull through and then I pull that tight and there's one tassel. Now I'm going in the middle, two yarns, pull through, grab the ends, pull through, pull tight. That was the middle and now I'm doing the other corner Okay, two yarns, line them up as best as you can, pull through, grab those ends, pull through. Okay, they all should be going roughly the same way. And those are our tassels. So, without flipping your scarf, you want the same edge and you're going to go into that corner and two yarns over your crochet hook, pull through, grab those ends, pull through. Now go to the middle, two yarns over your crochet hook, Pull through, pull through, pull tight. Go to that last corner. Okay, line them up. You want them as close to perfect as you can. Pull through, pull tight. Okay, so now just like you're giving a haircut well, that's what I think of it. I'm going to line up all those and trim them. Okay? Well, you do to one end, you do to the other. Give them a trim. Okay. Whoops, lost my scissors. Now, here's how I present the scarf. I take the scarf, put it through like this. And there we go. There is our shelf elf. I guess this could kind of go like this. Whatever. There is our shelf elf outfit or our Barbie outfit, whichever you want to call it. And that's all there is to it. So thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe and hit the bell if you want notifications of new videos. Have a great day. Bye.